with the 410 rear end. It's peppy. It is peppy. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a 2022 Ram 2500 Power Wagon with a pretty special package. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. It is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. Definitely check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 410 horsepower and then 429 pound feet of torque. This is the only engine you can get in the power wagon. There's no diesel available. Now let's go to the front end of this power wagon and this is a level three power wagon, which is a fully loaded power wagon. So we've got the cargo lights there at the top. You guys can see the decal here on the hood. Well, it's actually hard to see because this truck is black and the decal is very dark. Notice we have our 2500 heavy duty badge, which is also pretty dark in coloration. We've got the LED lights here. So you've got the daytime running lights, as you guys can see alongside the headlight, which looks fantastic. And notice how like the whole turn signal thing is integrated into the light as well. Fog lights down below, we've got parking sensors integrated into that fog light cluster and then also into the front end. We've got tow hooks here on either side. We do have a winch with synthetic cable from the factory. And then you guys can see here with the Ram mustache grill. But notice we've got vertical slats here on the grill, which is part of this package. It has kind of like that heritage appearance, which looks really cool. And it's not like the regular power wagon grill. I know this is horrible, but you guys can see the power wagon right there notice how the grill is a little bit different in terms of its appearance compared to the level 3 power wagon and in my personal opinion this looks better now popping around the side here we've got 17 inch wheels and wrapped around that we have 33s in the front and in the rear now this is the Achilles heel of the power wagon now these particular tires are amazing tires on like an SUV not on a full-size pickup truck now obviously you can get larger Wrangler Goodyear's which I think would be fantastic for the power wagon so I've talked to a lot of people and here's what people have said 35s you can throw them on no problem 37s you can throw them on there might be a little bit of rubbing but Ram should at least put 35s on this from the factory because these 33s just look so, so small on the power wagon. Now this is lifted compared to a regular 2500 and you guys can see we've got the off-road shocks as well. Uh, between the lift and the tires, this has like 15 inches of ground clearance, which is crazy. And then notice here with the fender flares, you guys can see here with the little rock rail. And then notice our Hemi 6.4 liter badge. And then we have a Ram logo. And I don't know how I'm gonna give you guys a side view because I'm in a cramped area. So I'll do my best. Do, 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 do. There you go. There's a full side view of the power wagon. Now here is our key fob for the power wagon. You've got your unlock function, your lock function, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. Payload capacity is 1,298 pounds. And you can see here with the LED bed lights. And then notice here with the outlet as well. And then the LED cargo light. And this does have the cargo camera. You can get a spray and bed liner from the factory. This particular one doesn't have it, but that's always easy to add after the fact. And that's really easy to get up. Now, and also that's what she said. Anyways, continuing along with the video, finishing things up with the rear, you guys can see here with the taillights and notes how it's blacked out there in the center. We have our Ram logo here also blacked out. And then notice with the off-road style bumper it does have parking sensors integrated into it. And then we have our lonesome exhaust tip there on the side. And then because this is built off like 2,500, we do have coil suspension in the back end. It's kind of hard to see. Also, another off-road shock. Baller Vagen. So here's the door panel in the rear, and this is another cool part about the level three. You have a limited interior here, so beautiful leather. You've got the contrasted stitching, and then even leather in the center. And then you have the limited seats. Like, look how nice these are. So if you want a luxurious power wagon interior, level three is the way to go. And then notice with the cup holders right here, heated seats for the rear. You've got the USB ports and then the full power outlet there in the back. And then this is the crew cab. You cannot get a mega cab power wagon. And yes, this is still built off of the older cab, not the new 1500 series cab. So yeah, see you. 
Now here is the front door panel. Notice again with all of the leather trim as part of the limited package. Here's a quick look at the mirrors. It does have the trailer trim mirrors. They do power fold in. You can adjust the convex mirror as well from that little function. You've got the two automatic controls for the automatic front windows. That was horrible. We're going to continue along. So we've got memory seats and then you can see here with the front seat again full leather. It says power wagon on it. Notice with the piping and then you can see the power adjustments. Pedal layout down below, light control here with the fog light and the cargo light. And then notice for the outlet there and the bed pedal adjustment. That's for the steering wheel adjustment. And let's pop in. So here's our steering wheel for the power wagon. Full leather here, perforated on the sides so you can get a slightly better grip and it looks cool. Radio controls here on the back. You got our voice command, phone controls, controls for the center stack, gear limiter, and then we have our regular cruise control and that's the steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge cluster. You guys can see you've got analog gauges on either side here with the power wagon. And then notice that screen there in the center. You can scroll through some different bits of info. Tire pressure is super high. That's what they do with heavy duty trucks is they always have the tire pressure set at crazy high levels. And then you guys can see here for like the drivetrain and everything. It's pretty cool that it lets you know like, hey, sway bar connected, axles unlocked, pretty fun stuff right there. And other than that, that is the center screen. Now here is the infotainment screen. So first off, if we pop it into reverse, we've got a regular backup camera and then we also have the cargo camera as well. And then notice we got the zoom function with that pretty simple stuff. And then as for the rest of the infotainment screen, um, first off, dual zone climate controls. You have heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel. There are climate controls on either side of the screen. There's also the hazard light button there in the center portion. Shortcut bar here at the bottom to let you just go to different tabs. Pretty straightforward stuff. Gone over this in other trucks. Let's move on. We've got our parking sensors to turn those on and off. Tow haul mode, stability control, hill descent control, trailer brake controls. And then notice with all of the charging ports and the phone holders right here. And we have a power outlet. Now we have the dial shifter for the eight speed automatic. This has two wheel drive, four wheel low and four wheel high. It does have a true neutral. Now that's for the sway bar disconnect. So basically that'll give you more articulation. This does have solid front and rear axles, which already articulate very well, but the sway bar, sway bar disconnect helps out with that. And then you've got your axle locks. So notice that you can do the rear or you can do the front and rear at the same time. You can't independently do the front and that'll give you better traction in off-road situations. If you're gonna mall crawl with this, just, just don't worry about those buttons. You'll never have to use them. Now we've got our power wagon logo there in the center. And you guys can see with the center console set up. And then yes, it does slide backwards and forwards. And it also is eating my backpack. Now we've got the glove box here with the power wagon. Notice again with the leather trim and on the dash. Harman Kardon sound system. Looks fantastic. Notice it uh, gives you like the horsepower and everything. It's like 410 horsepower. Yeah. And it gives you the RPMs too, which is kind of funny. Um, all black headliner. This does have a power sliding rear window. And well, that's all. So here is our window sticker for this 2500 Power Wagon. Base MSRP in a Power Wagon is now $62,615. And it comes standard with quite a bit, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the 410 axle ratio, all that fun stuff. But we have to get into options. So first off, this has the Power Wagon off-road package. 1995, it gives you the rock rails, and then also gives you these beadlock capable wheels that this particular one has. And then it has the level three equipment group, like I said, $9,990. I don't know why they didn't just make it $10,000. Well, maybe it's because 9990 looks a little bit better. Total MSRP, $77,745. And man, I'm getting my steps in for the day. These are big trucks that I'm reviewing. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Oh, setting off in the power wagon. First off, let's talk about how this thing drives from a ride quality perspective. And I am having a great day because I am driving this back to back with AEV's Prospector XL, which if you guys don't know what that is, go watch my video on it because it's a crazy truck. And so, <laughs> 
it's interesting to go from driving a Ram 2500 with 40s to one that has 33s. It's a pretty substantial difference. My my masculinity here, I'm just kidding. Anyways, with the Power Wagon, it actually drives pretty well. Um, the 2500, again, like I said, has solid front and rear axles, which you do feel that a little bit. And it also has coil suspension in the back end, which helps smooth things out a bit. So it kind of like almost counter, the, the coil suspension almost counters the solid axles. And, you know, I'm glad that Ram still uses solid axles, at least for now, because that helps out with the Power Wagon's off-roading ability because it articulates a ton. If it had independent front suspension, like what uh, Chevy does with their trucks, then well, it wouldn't be as good off-road. And that's what this is all about even though everyone mall crawls with these, which is okay. So what off-roaders are for is to be capable and to have that capability never used. Now the 6.4 Hemi is really good. I mean, it, it moves these tires really well. You do have to get a little bit higher up into the RPM range compared to, you know, let's say the Cummins diesel, right? That you have so much torque that you can just torque through everything. Whereas this, yeah, you do have to get into a little bit, but with the 4.10 rear end, It's peppy, it is peppy, that is for sure. Overall, ride quality is really good with the Power Wagon. So yeah, I guess we'll sum things up here with the Power Wagon. So first off, this level three package with the beadlock capable wheels, this hits the sweet spot. Uh, like I said, the only thing I'd change with the exterior looks is just at least 35s. I've seen some Power Wagons with 35s and it just, it looks like how a Power Wagon should look. 37s on a Power Wagon, ooh, that really hits the spot. Um, but I, like I said, I've heard some, people say that it might rub a little bit which is obviously something you don't want and you know overall having the limited interior it just it makes sense um now a laramie power wagon is going to cost about you know similar equipment to this i think is going to cost about seventy thousand dollars seventy one seventy two thousand dollars so this is you know a bit more expensive but if you're already spending $72,000, which another $5,000 to get a much nicer interior and to have a truck that looks a lot uh, better on the outside and just feels more special overall. So I think this is the route to go. These obviously are a little bit harder to come by. I've only seen, I think like two of these so far where I've seen like a bunch of the Laramie power wagons. So there is that, it is a little bit harder to come by, but if you can find one, I think it's worth it. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this Power Wagon. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Press here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. Check out them in the description down below. I'll see you.